Hi again, we come now to extracting data from an HTML file. So before beginning this video, I wish you do all this work with me. So first of all, open Jupyter Notebook and follow with me step by step. So for extracting data from HTML files, we will use a Python library called Beautiful Soup. And to use this library in Jupyter Notebook, we will write from BS4, import Beautiful Soup. And be careful here, the B is a capital letter and the S is a capital letter. Another thing here, the BS4 is the version 4 of Beautiful Soup. So follow me step by step, as I said. So we come here to our Jupyter Notebook that we called Parsing HTML and we write from BS4 import Beautiful Soup. Here in Anaconda, we don't have to install Beautiful Soup because it's already installed with the Anaconda environment. So from BS4, import Beautiful Soup and Control Enter to import this library. Then let's see the steps we have to do to make this data extraction. The first thing is you have to open an HTML file to work with. The second step is to parse the HTML file. So what does it mean parse the HTML file? It's about making the HTML code into a Python object so we can do all the operation and all the process that we usually use with Python. The third step is extract the information from the HTML and the fourth step is to process the extracted information you can print it or store it in a file and usually we store the information in a file because we will need to work with that data we will see those steps one by one the third step will be the longer one because it has many details and many types of extracting the information so Let's go for the first one, and it is opening the HTML file that we already saw in the Python basics. So this is how we open HTML file with open and file name .html in a read mode as file, and then HTML content will be equal to the file .read and the parentheses. Here in the resources, you will find an HTML file. Just download it because you will need this file to extract data from it. Once you downloaded this file, go back to Jupyter Notebook and open this file. And here in Jupyter Notebook, inside of the file name, we will write the name of our file. And this is Tunisia Sightseeing. It's written in capital letter. And of course, like that, you can't open this file. Why? Just I show you something. Control Enter. So this is an error. Why this error? Because we didn't put this file in the same directory of parsing HTML Python file. So what we will do? We will go here in our directory web scraping, and we will upload the file. And this is Tunisia Sightseeing. And click on Upload. And go back to the Jupyter Notebook and press Control Enter. And this is OK for opening our HTML file. The second step is parsing the HTML file. So soup equal beautiful soup and HTML content that we created into and we use the HTML dot parser soup equal beautiful soup and between parentheses html content that we already create and then comma html dot parser and control enter and here our html file is become a python object with some websites the html dot parser will not work for you so in this case we will use the LXML just like that. Instead of writing HTML.parser, we write LXML, but you have to import it in 
Jupyter Notebook, so you will write at the beginning, import LXML. And now we can print any one of the element that we want to show. For example, here we will write soup dot p the paragraph tag it will show us just the first paragraph tag so control enter this is the first paragraph tag you can do the same thing for the other tags like title control enter so this is for the title you can do the same thing for the h2 but it will show us just the first element that has h2 now, if we want to show the text of the element, we will add here dot and press Ctrl Enter. And as you can see here, it will show us just the text. The same thing if we want for the paragraph. So this is the text in the P element. If we want just the name of the element, we will show here, we will write here name. And this is the name of our element. But if we want to collect and to extract all the anchor tags or all the H2s or all the uh, list items of an HTML file, what should we do? We will see that in the next video where we will see how to extract information from the HTML in different ways. See you in the next lesson.